Hi everybody, this is Todd with our daily nitty gritty video. Hopefully you're having a good day today. We are on the cusp here of the Thanksgiving holiday in the US. This is the last day prior to um, the markets in the US closing, um, the stock market, of course. Uh, and there's some special considerations that we need to to look at uh, during this these times and so I want to spend uh, a few minutes talking about that and talking about how that can uh, affect uh, the markets in general and um, for those that uh, aren't familiar with the Forex market um, this is a chart of the euro US dollar and it illustrates a certain point here <clears throat> that I want to make, and that is that the markets can usually, and this is true for the stock market too, can become either very flat and really hard to find lots of movement or can get these extreme runs in, in their movement. This is a chart for an hourly time frame. But... The fact is, is that there's some certain things that we need to take into consideration, whether we're trading this or the the stock market here in, in the U.S. in particular, with it uh, being closed. But because the U.S. market is so big uh, and affects so many things, the uh, the world kind of follows. And so, regardless of what you trade, you're going to see that these things will come into play. Um, regardless of where you're at. So I'm going to pull up um, our blank page here, and uh, we're going to discuss a couple of things that happen. Why am I mixed up? Um, holiday trading. So there's a couple of things that generally you'll find happen and that is a change in volatility which simply means a it can get more volatile b it can become less volatile you get these movements where things are moving really quickly and are harder to uh, to trade because of the movement, or they just become really flat. Um, and this is because of the liquidity issue around the holidays. And for example, today, uh, the day before Thanksgiving here in the U.S., we have the market uh, uh, participants are going to slow down. Uh, people are going to be traveling. People are going to be uh, going away and not trading. And so it's very difficult in a market where we're anticipating a certain level of liquidity or a certain volume of trading happening where we can rely on certain patterns to form, uh, the simple trading method, looking for um, the pullbacks and things to be deliberate in their movements. Well, we just don't see that sometimes with that liquidity change. And sometimes it can be uh, more choppy than what we want and in the end this lower volatility is what creates deliberate versus non deliberate trading markets and we've talked a lot about that in the past if it, we're trading in a situation where there's a non-deliberate uh, market, we have to be more careful with what we're doing. Now, the other thing that we get a change in around holiday times is a change in, and I'm just going to put emotions. Uh, you know, we have different things that we're dealing with, you know, um, whether it's because uh, we're worried about money to buy presents or worried that family's coming over or we're going to fly somewhere, you know, our emotions become a little bit uh, trickier. And so we have to be careful 
with that. We have to make sure that we're in the right emotional state to make the proper decisions with our changing, with our emotions changing. Um, and so, um, one thing that that we have to pay particular attention to is, you know, our patience and how patient we are with um, getting into trades and getting out of trades. Um, the other thing we have to do, we have to be better at risk control. And as you know, we can only we only give the market so much to to trade with. So um, lowering our percentage risk from you know an example would be two percent to one percent or one percent to a half a percent is something that we uh, we should consider doing when the market is less deliberate. Uh, and the last thing with holiday trading is it's okay to take a break um, and, you know, enjoy the holidays. Make sure that you're, um, you know, not worried about uh, things that are less important and, and focusing on things that are more important. If you can can do some of these things, you be, can be uh you know, understand that there's going to be a change in liquidity, that that change in liquidity can make the markets become more non-deliberate. Understand that emotions change, that we need to be more patient with what we're doing. Don't let our emotions cause us to get into trades. Um, then we're going to be better off. And by controlling our risk, you know, um, lowering the percentage that we're willing to take risk in that trade, in those trades, uh, is a way to to handle some of that increased volatility. And then, uh, last but not least, it's okay to take a break and uh, step away from what's happening in the markets and really focus in on um, those things that uh, are important and the reasons why we trade in the long run. So keep that in mind. Uh, have a fantastic holiday for those that are in the U.S. celebrating Thanksgiving. The rest of you remember some of the, the issues that uh, come because of that. And then uh, we will be back um, on uh, Monday with uh, a video. We might do something on Friday. Um, but uh, if you have questions, feel free to let us know. If not, uh, have a great holiday, everybody, and we'll uh, talk to you soon. Thanks.